Your punishment must be more severe. He's the villain in the finale to the booming box office Batman franchise, The Dark Knight Rises. And he's suddenly in the national political debate. Bane, played by Tom Hardy, is a hulking man with a cage-like gas mask engulfing his face. And he's drawing a lot of fire from Rush Limbaugh. The villain in The Dark Knight Rises is named Bane, B-A-N-E. What is the name of the venture capital firm that Romney ran and around which there's now this make-believe controversy? Bane. Do you think that it is accidental that the name of the really vicious, fire-breathing, four-eyed, whatever it is, villain in this movie is named Bane? Many are calling this theory a stretch. At best, DC Comics, which developed the Batman series, first introduced Bane in January of 1993, nearly 10 years before Mitt Romney, the presumptive Republican presidential nominee, was elected governor of Massachusetts. Furthermore, Bane was announced as the film's villain in January of 2011, months before Romney officially announced his candidacy. You should be as afraid of him as I am. But Limbaugh's comments fall within a larger debate about The Dark Knight Rises, which touches on themes of terrorism, economic turmoil, and political strife, all relevant today, potentially making the movie more than just a summer popcorn flick. Some reviews are quick to draw the comparison. The LA Times says The Dark Knight Rises brings a whiff of contemporary societal trends, or what director Christopher Nolan has called the things that worry us these days into play. And Roger Ebert writes that the movie portrays an apocalyptic future that seems uncomfortably close to today's headlines. Early box office projections indicate that The Dark Knight Rises will clean up when it opens Friday, with some reports saying it could make between $160 and $180 million. The film is produced by Warner Brothers, which is owned by CNN's parent company, Time Warner. There's a storm coming, Mr. Wayne. Whether the relevant themes or even Limbaugh's comments will have any impact on moviegoers remains to be seen. But Morgan Freeman, who reprises his role as weapon specialist Lucius Fox, says, despite the chaos and violence in the Batman movies, one message is clear. I think they all have the same basic theme, but this one hits it a little harder. Basically, it's hope. Hope. Things can and will get better. Yet another theme that might sound familiar to politically savvy audiences.